Deesborough Infant School is an infant school in North London. We have just over 250 pupils on roll. We are a three form entry school um, with a nursery as, as well. I've worked in Barnet for 20 years. Um, I was a, a deputy at a local school for six years and I've now been the head teacher at Deansbrook for eight years. This is my ninth year in the school. I really believe in child-centred education, so I've always pushed the children come first in everything we do and every decision that we make um, is about the children being at the centre of it. The school is a bright, colourful building which is uh, stimulating and inviting for children. An important part of our ethos here at Deansbrook is about inclusive education for all children. We believe that every child has a right to be educated um, regardless of their needs and therefore we ensure that all children, regardless of their needs, is given the right curriculum, the right resources to make sure that they can progress and reach their full potential. We are a, a very diverse community. This brings a fabulous richness to our school. It gives the opportunity for us to build understanding and respect for each other, which is all part of the community here at Deansbrook. With the onset of the new curriculum, we decided to use this as an opportunity to really rethink um, the content of the curriculum that we have at school. We devised new topics for our Key Stage 1 children in Year 1 and Year 2. Each topic um, lasts for one half term and we thought of lots of exciting activities that can help to make these topics um, inspiring um, and exciting for the children. We enhance our curriculum by organising visitors to the school and visits out of school. These help to really embed the learning for the children and having that hands-on experience, we find, helps them with their understanding of their learning. Um, for instance, in Year 1 we take the children to South End, to the seaside. They're learning about the difference between the Victorian seaside and the seaside today. And they have an amazing time and seeing some of the children's faces who have never been to the seaside and it's their first experience uh, is absolutely amazing. We're fortunate to have a huge range of resources at the school. We've got a stunning library that is um, very well resourced with a huge range of books. We have laptops that the children can use in class, which is helping them to develop their IT skills. We have a very skilled team of staff at Deansbrook, and because of this, we're able to offer excellent interventions for children who may need extra support in any area of the curriculum. Our holistic approach to education means that some of these interventions are not necessarily academic. For instance, we have our Lego Club, where children are taught interpersonal skills such as leading, building and team building and it's a fantastic opportunity for them to really build confidence and independence in a small group situation. One of the most important things for our children at Deansbrook is to learn to be independent learners. We always make sure that in class they have plenty of opportunities to work independently um, as well as with adult support. This helps them prepare for the next stage in their learning journey. Because we are an infant school, we really value the importance of early years education. We know that if we don't get that right, then the children are not going to be ready for the next stages in their education. I've been at Deansbrook Infant School for 21 years now. I started out as a class teacher, then became the literacy leader, and I've been the early years leader for five years now. Early years is really important because it lays the foundations for children as they move up the school. We do lots of early reading opportunities, early writing, maths activities, everything's practical and through play. Children learn through play and it might look like play to us but to them they're exploring science, maths, literacy, early reading, early writing, they're using their imagination, something like a bottle top could be money one minute, the next minute it's food for somebody else. We teach our children to be as independent as possible. We will ask them to have a go before we help them and always say, show me, show me you trying before we will help them. We base our learning around children's interests. We look at what they've done the week before, we look where we might need to develop their learning further, their next steps, or where we might need to review and revise things. We might plan this around superheroes or fairies and princesses, something that's going to captivate their interests. 
the more they're interested, the better they'll learn. When we plan our activities, we try to make them as cross-curricular as possible. So we try to make sure that even though it might be a literacy-based activity, there's also physical things going on. So the children might be picking up letters with tweezers, or we might be asking them to do some painting, which is number-based. We've got a lovely outdoor area. The staff work really hard to try and make it inviting and engaging for the children. Learning outdoors can be very different to indoors. Outdoors, children can be much louder, the movements can be bigger, they get opportunities to observe the weather, changes in the environment. It's important to me that children are always moving on to their next steps in their learning. We want to prepare them to be ready for the next part in their learning journey. The thing I love about working here is that we all work so well together as a team to make sure that the children are having fun and that they're learning in the best way that they can. We understand that parents in today's society need more than just a, a nine till three provision for their children at school. We therefore have a breakfast cup every morning that runs from 7.45 in the morning. It's run by school staff who the children know well. We also have an after-school club that runs every day until six o'clock in the evening, allowing parents to work and then pick up their children. We also have a range of extracurricular clubs at the school which are run by our staff. Um, these give children op an opportunity to take part in activities which otherwise they may not get the opportunity to take part in. These range from chess to outside football to sewing to ski stacks and the children have a huge amount of fun and enjoyment from them. We have an amazing dedicated team here at Deansbrook who always put the children at the centre of everything that they do. They go above and beyond and always go the extra mile to make sure that our children get the very best education. The best thing about being a head teacher is seeing the children on a daily basis and having conversations with them. This can be about their learning, about their lives inside the school and out. It's always a joy to see them arrive at school in the mornings with big smiles on their faces, ready to learn, and the pleasure they get at seeing their teachers and their friends when they walk into school. To me, Dean's Book is about our children. It's about their kind, caring attitudes. It's about the way that they tackle their learning. And when they leave our school, that they are inspired to be the very best that they can be.